here we are in the Just Flight Avro RJ. Just a quick video here to show you some shortcuts or uh, click spots that you might not be aware of. Uh, but just first of all, a couple of um, assignments in the uh, controls. Um, I have an um, Airbus TCA captain's pack here and the two red buttons on the auto throttle and the throttles here on the side. I have one set to auto throttle disconnect and also one set to um, auto throttle toga or take off go around so um, you'll see that in a moment um, so if I put the auto throttle on now you can see I can hit my auto throttle disconnect there we go and then I press it again and it clicks off that's useful on uh, on final uh, also the autopilot um, the autopilot disconnect I've actually set all three um, autopilot disconnect or autopilot off or disengage all three of them and now if I press it once and then twice actually um, on final it turns it off and silences the alarm which is super um, the other thing here if I put the auto throttle on I'll do that last of course because I'm just about to take off um, you can see here the heading bug is not centered with the runway heading instead of you know it's a bit hard sometimes when we're in a turn and we're a one-man pilot and um, we can uh, have this great shortcut there's a little screw here you can see where my mouse is if I click on that it will just center the uh, heading bug which I think is fantastic um, another one is um, the click spot here the screw for the um, for the auto throttle for the toga for auto throttle to take off when it's set here toga max um, in real life these buttons are a, bit, a little bit difficult difficult to find they're somewhere behind here if I can just get the camera down and around there are uh, these two buttons under the throttle here of course in real life they're not the toga written on you just press with your index finger and your middle finger click and uh, there they are, and here's the auto throttle disconnect which I have connected or uh, assigned. So, um, yeah, the auto throttle here, these switches, um, I have actually one of the red buttons programmed to that, or you can hit the uh, click spot here, which I'll do in a moment. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, I wanted to show, yeah, just here, if you're not sure how to get rid of the yoke, you press the pedal adjust here, which is good. And this little chart gets rid of the EFB. Also, like there's a little plant panel here which you can also get rid of, which I kind of like. It frees up then the buttons down here when you're putting on the radios. That works on the um, FO side too over here. Okay, there we go. Um, what else is there? I think that's about it. Um, yeah, that's about. It. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. Yes, yes. Um, here, if you're in the climb, um, I can see now if you want to set standard out, it's a little click spot here. And you can click that to standard altitude. And hit B again to get, sorry, um, <laughs> barometer setting. Uh, what else is there? Oh, yeah, the uh, little flip chart here, which is great. That sets your um, relative to your weight, sets your um, V speed here or your V2 speed which is quite important because then the um, flight director on takeoff will call for v2 plus 10 so that's quite important if you want to go into the efb over here just make sure on aircraft and settings here you have the where is it flip chart options here flip chart weight sync so that's good have those on because why uh, yeah that will then set this uh, chart to the uh, weight of the aircraft, round it up or down, and then uh, if you're here now, we're doing a max takeoff. So if you watch this here, see my V2 uh, speed here for a flaps 18. If I click that, now we've got 140. If we're going to take the London City, for example, 33 flap takeoff, we're going to hit here, and our V2 then changes automatically here, which is great. It saves you a little time. Same on approach. Hit flaps 33. Yeah, we're not in approach mode, so it's not going to work right now. Um, 
flaps 33 yeah that will set the bugs great um yeah this is another video but if we want to um, reduce takeoff or flex takeoff then we can set our uh, you see the n1 here is uh is changing we can do a reduced uh, takeoff if we want to do like uh, let's say 50 degrees now we're at 88 power um, for takeoff so we'll go toga compare that to now we're at 94 95 percent there we go that's i think all of the click spots that i can show you and the last one of course is uh let's take off are we on the right one here yeah we the right speed. so good um so we can hit this click spot here with the auto throttle on you can see now the auto throttle's on and we're going into toga which is great there we go Okay, thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.